begin by opening up the forearms and the wrists. Inhale the palms up towards the sky. Exhale, palms to shoulder height. Spreading the fingers, pressing, straightening the arms, pressing as if you're pressing walls away from you. Feeling up. Exhale, curl fingers down into a fist. Draw the fist straight down firmly. Feel your breath. On the inhale, fingers up. Exhale down. Draw the fist forwards firmly. Really press and straighten the arms. This is an active stretch. We'll do two more like this. Inhale, fingers up. Exhale down towards the back of the room. Remember, if the shoulders, if it becomes too much for the shoulders, just drop the arms. That's okay. There's no judgment. Don't judge yourself. And one more. Inhaling up. Exhale straight down. Let your awareness be in the forearms. A few breaths here. Palms float down. Bring the fingers in front of you. Spread the fingers. Press the palms down. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. You walk out your wrists just like you'd walk out down the dock. Notice how the thoughts want to take you away from the subtle movement. Stay with this. Stay with your breath. Subtle twist, inhale, arms up. Exhale to the left, twist. Inhaling up. Exhale over. Inhaling up. Good. Exhale, palms by your side. Do some Kapalabhati breath of fire. Stimulate digestion. If you've just eaten, you can skip this breath. Inhale, fill up about three fourths of an inhale and begin. I'm, rapid, I'm rapidly exhaling through the nostrils at the same time, pulling the belly in. Only focus on the exhale. We'll do about 20 more. And release. We're starting with yin. So this is the more relaxing part of the class. We're going to open up the neck and shoulders. We're going to move into a little bit of a vigorous sequence and then end with some more yin. Let's open up the neck and shoulders. Inhale the palms up. Exhale, left palm by your side. Right arm will reach up and over your head. Let your awareness stay in the side body as you find your breath. Sitting's uncomfortable, I recommend propping up the hips. Good. On an exhale, let the palm float to shoulder height. I want you to reach through the fingers. Reach and spread. Let the weight of the head fall. This is an active stretch. Really reach. Draw this left shoulder. 
might be your right shoulder away from the ear. Let your inhalations grow. So really feel for what the inhales have in store for you here. The full inhalation. On the exhale, let the head and neck drop forward a few inches. Keep the breath full as you breathe into the back of the neck. Good. On an exhale, let the palm float down as you come forward to the other side. Where the mind's taking you, stay here. On the exhale, palm float, shoulder height. Reach through those fingers. Neck relaxes. You should be really feeling it here. If you're not, reach and spread through the fingers more. Let your inhalation grow. Keep sipping up. On the exhale, let the head and neck drop forward. A few breaths here. Keep the intensity. Keep this active, reaching. Breathing. Coming back to center on the exhale. Legs come in front of you. Just open up the, the, the ankles very gently. Bringing the feet forward and backwards. Now make circles. Just warming up the ankle joints. Other direction. Good. Bringing both feet to the mat now. Rock the knees from side to side. Just a few times. For those of you that have experience with yoga, this is probably very subtle. You may not even feel much of a stretch. See if you can just stay with the movement. Stay with the breath. Stay connected. Good. And when the knees come over to the right, let the knee come down. Palm walk up. And reach. Neck can relax. On the exhale, let the hips come down. We'll flow over to the other side. Soft jaw, the teeth are not together. Good, on an exhale, sink down. So you can take that one again, but if it's available, see if you can reach up and back. Taking a slight back. Head and neck drop back. Let your breath move up your rib cage. All the way into the chest. Fuller breath. One more. Filling up. Keep sipping up. On the exhale, sink down. Flow over to the other side. Feeling up. On the exhale, coming down. 
We'll turn on the core. So this is we're going to be moving into our vigorous part of our sequence here. We'll do two core exercises. First one, you may want to have a block, a blanket, a pillow, something you can squeeze with your legs. Or rather, since a couple of you might not have a block, let's skip that one. Let's do, let's just do eagle crunches. We'll do one long, serious set of eagle crunches. So we're going to turn it on, do what's appropriate. Come under your back, feet on the mat. Let the right leg come all the way over the left. If you can, tuck it under and let the shins float. Right elbow under left for eagle arms. Good. I want you to hug the legs together. Feel how the core turns on. Make sure the knees are right over the hips. Don't let them come up like this. Keep them there. Good. Hug the legs. We're going to inhale up. Eagle crunch. Exhale lower. You're going to really turn it on. Inhale all the way up. Pause. Exhale lower. Soft jaw. Two more like this. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Inhaling up. Exhale lower. You're going to do extended breaths. Do what you can. Find a smoother breath. Inhale, rise for two breaths. That's one. And lower. Inhale up. Three breaths. Soft jaw. Don't punch the face. One more. Exhale, lower. Good. This time, five breaths. Inhale up. Two more. You can do it. Keep the intensity. Shoulders up. Good. Lower. So most people take a few breaths of rest here. If you want a little bit more, we'll come up for about eight breaths. Inhale, rise. Soft jaw. Two more breaths. On the exhale, lower. Mm, release the binds. We'll do the other side. Left leg over right. Shins float. Really hug them. Hug the legs. Left elbow under right. Eagle arms. Good. We'll do some crunches. Hug the legs. Inhale, rise. And lower. Three more like this. Inhaling up. Lower. And up. Lower. Inhaling all the way up. And lower. Good. So you're feeling the accrued benefits of doing the other side first. So just do what you can. Inhale up. Two breaths. And lower. Three breaths. Inhaling up. If the breath is shallow, amp it up. And lower. Five breaths. Inhaling up. Exhale, lower. Take a breath or two, gain your composure. 
You feel up for it. Let's do this last one. Eight breaths. Come up. You're doing it. Get it up. Shoulders up. Elbows up. I know it burns. A few more. That's it, Lord. Oh, very nice, everybody. We turned on the abdomen. Let's turn on the lower back. Roll onto your belly. Set up for both. Interlace fingers behind the lower back. Press into the pelvis and rise into both. Neck is long, gaze is down. One long line. Extend through the toes and the crown of the head. If the shoulders are sagging like this, draw them together. Hang out. You're going to hang here for extended breaths. If it becomes too much, lower down. That's okay. But if you're in it, amp up your breath. Turning on the core. You'll notice each pose that we do the rest of the class, you'll feel that much more alive. Soft jaw, teeth are separated. The tongue can be in the back of the front teeth. So as the sensation builds, the intensity builds, see if you can stay with it, amp up your breath. Keep the length, toes to crown. A few more breaths, you can do it. Exhale, lower. We'll press back for a child's pose. Spread the knees. Maintain this heat we've built. Come forward now into table. I'm going to rub the hands together to get a little more heat in the palm so I can grip the mat better. So feel free to join me. Good. Coming forward. The table. Tuck the toes under. Press back. Press back into downward dog. Feel free to walk out your dog, nice and slow, stay connected to your body. Each subtle movement has an effect. Back to neutral. Inhale the right foot up. Exhale into lunge. Nice deep lunge. We're going to stay here. Find your breath. Let's 
Sink the front thigh down a few more inches. And on the inhale, let the right palm float to the sky for a twist. Neck can relax. On the exhale, palm comes down. Step forward, forward, forward. This is a passive fold. Grab hold of the elbows. The head and neck can re relax. You can shake out the head and neck a bit. The shoulders. Still breathing. Good, and on an inhale, slowly rise one vertebrae at a time. Coming all the way up. Inhaling the arms up toward the sky. And interlace fingers, reach straight up. Feel the length. Stay grounded. Keep awareness on the legs and feet as well. Let the breath balloon your shoulders, chest, and back. Feeling up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Palms on the shins, neck is long. Feeling up. On the exhale, fold, step, place the palm, step back into plank. Melt the heart between the shoulders. The hips are down like this. Get them up, keep the core engaged. For the chaturanga, you can always drop the knees. But on an exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra. You can come up as high or as low as you'd like. You can be here, 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 wherever. This is a back bend. Shoulders are back, away from the ears. Pressing back, downward dog. Down. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, lunge. Nice deep lunge. Once you're in the lunge, stay in it. Try to resist the movements, the fidgeting. You see people playing with their toes. Just be in this lunge. See what it has for you. Inhaling left palm to the sky, twist. Neck can relax. Exhale the palm down. Step forward, forward, fold. And walk the palms over to the right. Draw the left hip back. So you straighten the left leg to the best of your ability. The right one can be back. Neck is relaxed. Breathe into the left hip. Fuller, fuller breath. Back to center. Do the other side. Palms to the left. Draw the right hip back. 
This practice is a combination of both yin and yang. The yin is restorative, it's therapeutic. The yang is strengthening and heat building. This is the yin. Another breath. And back to center. Good. Inhaling the arms up. And you can interlace the fingers if you'd like, or keep them apart. Reach back, take a slight back bend. Keep the tailbone scooped. So don't let the hips come forward like this. Scoop the tailbone under and reach back. Check in with your jaw. Is it soft? As this becomes a challenge, amp up your breath. Good. On an exhale, come forward, forward fold. Place the palm, step or jump back, plank. Chaturanga down into cobra or upper dog. Shoulders are back. Heart is drawing you forward. Elbows tucked in. On an exhale, press back down. We're done. You're going to really turn on the heat now. Inhale, right foot up and back. Exhale, lunge. When you feel grounded, Inhale the arms up, press and lunge. You're going to begin to feel some warmth in the front thigh. Stay with this. If you need to, drop the back knee. If you can, stay in it. Spread the fingers. A few more breaths. Two more. On the exhale, palms down. Inhale the right palm to the sky for a twist. Neck can relax. Twist deeper, twist from the hips. Exhale to palm down. Press back, downward dot. Stay here for a few breaths. Left foot up. Exhale, lunge. Good. When you feel grounded, rise on it. Press the line. Where is your mind taking you? Stay here. Stay with the sensation. Sink deeper. A few more breaths. Feeling that sensation, the burning. Breathe with it. Two more breaths. Exhale, palms down. Inhale, left palm to the sky. Delicious twist. Neck can relax. Good. Exhale, the palm down. Press back down. Down. Mm. 
can step or jump forward for a fall. Interlace fingers behind the calves. Use a little bit of arm strength to draw yourself down. Straighten the legs, spread the knees. Neck is relaxed. Two more breaths. Release. Inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, arc to the left. Feel, keep your awareness in the side body. A few more breaths. Sink a little deeper. Inhaling, rise. Inhale to the opposite direction. If you can, sink a little deeper. Inhale, rise. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway flat back. Fill up. Exhale, fold. Place the palm, step the jump back. Plank. Chaturanga down, cobra or upper down. Pressing back, downward dog. You can walk it out a bit here once again. Notice the difference from when you first began. Slowly. And slowly come on to the knees. Set up for dolphin pose. Come on to the elbows. If you, this is your first time doing this pose, you can interlace fingers. If not, keep the forearms parallel with each other. Good. So you want to tuck the toes under. Feel the biceps wrapping backwards. So that's very subtle movement. Energetically, they wrap backwards so you can wrap your lats right here. The back kind of flares out a little bit. And you feel the chest become engaged. Keep the chest squeezing. And press back, dolphin. Feel your breath in your upper back, shoulders, and chest. Do a few stomach kriyas. These are optional. They're exhales through the mouth and pulling the belly in and holding. We'll do three. Inhaling. Exhale, mouth. Pull belly in and hold. Release. Inhale. Two more. Back to your ujjayi nostril breathing. Feel free to open up the jaw, mouth as wide as you can. Stretch it out. Shake it out. Remember, you can drop to the knees at any time. Feel free to come back in if this is a challenge. You want to amp up your breath as it becomes more intense. Three more breaths. And when you begin to get 
the shanks is a good time to, to take a few breaths past that point and then lower down. Good. Do some cat cows. Nice and slow. Stay connected to your breath. You're inhaling up, and the exhale you empty. Good, coming back to neutral. You press back into downward facing dog. Step or jump forward, forward fold. If you can, step on the palms. If not, do the bind again. Just fold it. Take a deep fold. Use some arm strength to come down deeper. Straighten the legs, spread the knees. Inhale, the arms carry you up. Draw the palms down heart center. You can let the eyes close. Tuning back into your body. Notice the quality of your breath. You notice it has become naturally fuller since we began. Notice the quality of your thought. Maybe the mind has slowed down just a little bit since we began class. Finding a sweet contentment with where you are in your practice. Good. And now releasing the arms. Inhale the arms up. You're going to take a wide-legged stance. So you might have to, to rotate your mat a little bit. Good. Exhale the palms behind the lower back. Inhale the heart forward, exhale, hinge forward, arms carry up over your head. Keep the shoulders drawing back, chest forward, arms up. Amp up your breath. This is an active stretch. Exhale, release the palms. To the best of your ability, walk the palms over to the left. If you can get the foot or ankle, go for it. Neck is relaxed and breathe. Back to center. Walk the palms in the opposite direction. Back to center. Walk the palms forward. 
when the hips begin to really come forward, that's when you melt the heart, sink the hips back. Back now, palms under the shoulders. Drop to one knee at a time. It's one of my favorite poses, frog pose. Roll the front of the mat over for some knee support. Place your knees on there. And spread the knees as wide as you can. See if you can get the shins parallel with each other. Toes curling outwards. Now exhale onto the elbow. If you want to intensify this, see if you can sink the hips back, so sink the butt back towards the heels, just another inch or two. Now, let the forehead rest on the palms or block. Let your inhalations penetrate into the groin. me many classes before I realized I really was not letting go in this posture. Sometimes it takes 5, 10, 15 breaths and then you finally let go. It's beginning, it's beginning to get intense. If you need to, you can draw the knees back together. If you can, stand for a few more breaths. Coming onto the palms, drawing the knees back together. 